is here, Miss G. Hello, Rapso. <laughs> How are you doing? Very well, thank Looking you. Looking very Hi. bright. Just like you. You've illuminated the whole studio. Uh, yeah, I'm checking up to you. Uh, really? Huh? <laughs> you know, so there's a lot of things happening in the entertainment industry. Uh -huh. One that has been trending since yesterday mm -hmm. was a confession by uh, Kwesiche Dakwa's son. That's KKDA's uh, broadcaster's son, yeah. who is called Dakwa Che Dakwa. So he's KKD, his son is DKD. <laughs> so his son opened up about his sexuality. Okay. He said that, yes, he's homosexual. So that's him on the screen. That's him on the screen. So wow. there's been a lot of talk around him mm -hmm. and that's him again on the screen and he has a whole video and I think he's also a fashion uh, into modeling sorry so okay that's him there again okay and uh, people are talking about you know the fact that he's Ghanaian this is alien to us yes people have been actually talking about it so he's been training since so, yesterday so what's been the reaction are people condemning so, people him people are or? condemning him mm -hmm. but his dad says and this is what he says in the post a very lengthy post he posted on um, facebook right. he said you can always have an ex-wife you can have an ex-husband there's nothing like an ex-parent yes. no an ex-child yeah. and so for him that's the son's preference he will stand by his son and that is his son's preference. Let's let it be that he knows that where he comes from, it's frowned on. But he also believes in people being real and being themselves and being comfortable mm. with themselves. So his son actually said that he started being gay from primary school days. Oh. So it's been a long while. Oh, so he's been aware. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so okay. I don't think it's alien to KKD. Okay. And then he also talks about the fact that you know this interview, which surfaced to tell us that this young man is gay, was an interview he granted long ago, and was not for this purpose. Okay. But all of a sudden, this is all we are hearing. Oh. But he's standing by his son, and you know he has two children. Hey, the DKD. Them, so he's ready to fight for them. It's always so, a conflict for parents. Too. Yes, and you know what? He yeah. went ahead to mention people who we've heard allegedly to be gays and saying that, yes, that's why he loves us, we're applauding them. Okay. So just to make a point that if he's not the first gay, yeah. he might never be the last one, okay. but he's a son and he accepts him as such. Okay. All right. Away from that, uh, Juliet Ibrahim and her boyfriend, Iceland Beg, who mm -hmm. everybody talks about because of his hairstyle. I love that hairstyle, you know. Uh, <laughs> we're in the studio here uh -huh. with Gifty and on appear on the pulse. Uh -huh. And they'll be talking about, yeah, the main reason they came was for the charity. Okay. She's trying to raise funds for a young student of the University of Cape Coast by name Duke. You know, she's, she has a foundation that takes care of uh, kidney transport and kidney patients. Oh, okay. And so they're trying to raise funds tomorrow at okay. Club Onis okay. with um, D Black. Mm -hmm. And so they came by to talk about celebrity relationship. These two have been a topic for a while. So here's what they had to say about marriage and um, how soon that's going to happen. His personality. his personality. Okay, now um, he's looking at you. Yeah, his oh. personality. <laughs> Trust me. He's a very, very nice person. Oh. And I, when I even first met him, I wasn't looking at the hair. Funny enough, I don't look at people's appearance when I want to, you know, talk to them or get to know them. So it doesn't matter. It's his style. Yeah. So, so it was just his personality. What, yes. What did attract her to you then? Besides the music, she was Besides talking music, about. she just had a loving heart. She had a caring heart. Wow. And just, as she said, sometimes it's not about the physical beauty. Yeah. She's huh. beautiful, definitely. But so. it's, it's more than that. Like when you talk Ghanaian to someone, girls are beautiful. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, we've seen how people in the limelight, you know, have fed in their relationships. Mm -hmm. When relationships are all over the place, you know, mm -hmm. it turns not to work. What is it that you're doing to keep yours together and keep it tight? I think, it, um, you know, every relationship is different. Even those that are not in the limelight tend to fall apart at some True. point in time. So uh, it's not about being in the limelight. If you know who you're with and you both know what you want, you work towards making it go. And if God is involved, you know, nothing is going to tear it apart. It's not about being in a limelight. There's nothing people will say that will destroy your relationship if you know what you have. So I think it's about who you're with and everything else really doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask you about your charity event, but I want to know, are you in touch with your ex-husband? Of course. We have a son together. How is that relationship going? Perfect. We are friends. Oh yeah? Yes. He, he also got married and I got and has kids as well. Yeah, he has two kids with the, the lady, yeah. Do, do you feel like you 
you you you made a mistake going for him in the first place? No, I have a son. <laughs> okay, so that 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 works for you. Yes, does I have it a bother son. you that she has ties in Ghana? Uh, I mean, does it bother not you anyhow? Not at all. Have you been married before? No, I haven't. Okay, but I have a daughter as well. Okay, great. Yes. Juliet has also said somewhere that if you should break her heart, uh, Ghanaians are going to swallow her, <laughs> swallow her up. Is that? Uh, <laughs> I mean, how? how <laughs> They'll swallow him. <laughs> They'll swallow him. <laughs> because we've had an, we've had an example actually. Uh, so yes, we've had an example. Who? Oh, she knows. Uh -huh, we've had. <laughs> well, she knows. Yvonne Nelson. Uh, Yvonne Nelson was an example. I mean, but if, uh, when you when you listen to Yvonne, she felt like she was in love genuinely. But this guy, when you listen to him, it doesn't feel like. Uh, it. Doesn't feel like he was Nigerian, so that's why everybody was like, you know. Mm -hmm. so yeah, are you think, into stay or? It's, uh, it's where you're from. I think it's 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 the individual. Maybe he just it's wasn't individual. in it for you know for love. Okay, so you're not going to break her heart. No, I can't. Because if you do, we'll do something her heart to you. Is my heart. I can't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. sounds nice. Sounds nice. <laughs> he is indeed. I'm I'm already falling in love with him. <laughs> is that allowed? <laughs> yes. <That's> so far. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh, there you have it. No, that's really and romantic. There was a kiss. Okay. That's really romantic. That's very, very romantic. Speaking and of kisses, uh, when are we going to see you kissing your husband? Oh, you didn't see set. that already? No, oh, no when the action I missed was out. out. Oh, you missed out. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> okay, so, um, I uh, slim bag and Juliet Ibrahim there, but also yesterday there was uh, an honorary award given to Ejako Nimo, who is known as a very big legend yeah. when it comes to highlight music mm -hmm. here in Ghana. Now, students of the University of Education in Winneba conferred the award on him. You may want to call him the king of palm wine music, or better still, the grandfather of music, whichever way. The history of Ghana's indigenous music cannot be documented without reference to his works. Kwapunabu Amponsem, affectionately called a Jaco Nimo, uses folklore in an intriguing manner to drum home lessons of life. The country is expense. You are the bad winter. In fact, it was so cold that you see that elephants in London see at the Amu Theatre and the University of Education Winneba, Ejako Nimo accompanied his vocals with the strings, even at his old age, to the excitement of many students. <laughs> All right, so That's congratulations right to him. Yes, 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 yes. And mm -hmm. um, Araba, you know that, how many times do you use the Tamal in a week? Um, almost every week. Okay, so you get to pay toll when you do that. I do. I have an antidote to that. When you get there, you don't want to pay toll. <laughs> Guess what you do? Guess Mr. Hainana, not paying toll in Lekki in Lagos. <laughs> I'm trying to prank this guy. and sell tickets at the toll gate. I just pray they will not beat me, okay? <laughs> it is sure fine. Atitake. <laughs> <laughs> so I advise anyone to so go that's the anti <laughs> When you get there, you do that. <laughs> if you were the lady, would you take the money? I mean, I, I will. I pray over it. I'm collecting. <laughs> but but when you, I mean, it's scary. It's, it is scary. I have to admit, it's scary. But that's Mr. Hina. You remember him? Who's that? The Hina and the Irene. Ah, that's the young man, you know. <laughs> so he's making money from, you know, making us laugh. But that'll uh, be for entertainment. And, all right, uh, Miss G. So definitely. what's up for tonight and the hubby? Oh, you want me to tell you? I'll tell you. In chambers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs>